Hearing you avoid going into express trains, you'll get into like a headache <laughs> and you don't know if that train will stop by at the station you want to go. Hello and welcome back to my channel with another video. I kind of apologize about not posting that much lately. I've been going through lots of changes recently and um didn't have that much time to film anything. Plus, I'm filming at night, it's almost midnight, and I have work tomorrow. I should be sleeping, but who cares, right? I will try my best to post as much as possible lately, and um, maybe I'm thinking about weekends to post from now on. Tell me about what you think if you want me to post more, and um, Please be nice. Okay, so the subject today is about New York since I've been living here for about two years now. I think I know the bit of secrets about living in New York. Some people say it's not the best life, some people like it, some people don't. It all matters. It's all subjective. The main thing when I started working here, what really bothered me were, were the prices of food, of course. You wanna, you don't have, if you don't have much time to eat, uh, to cook, if you don't have much time to cook, you will have to most probably buy from outside, usually cook on the weekend, but usually on weekdays, I, I, buy food for most of the time, like a lot, but I know I shouldn't, I try not to recently, but I still do. So I work in Manhattan, so if you ever go to Manhattan, well, you will go, like the first, the, the people, the, the place that people go first is Manhattan, I don't know why, I mean, yeah, it's, it's very overhyped. But that's the first place that people go to is Manhattan and in Times Square there's many delis and near Times Square area there's many delis and you might think it's actually not that pricey but it's actually the opposite. Um, the first time I went there I'm like I need to save up some money so I went there and I started like usually delis you have like food and you get your little plate and you just start like putting on food as much as you want and then you go to the cashier and they weigh the, um, the food you have and it depends on the weight you will pay but the thing is it, it kind of like even if you put a tiny bit of food it will start with $10 like it's very rare that I saw someone who put less than $10 in their plate like if you put maybe two pieces of I don't know, maybe like a tiny tiny bit, it'd be like eight dollars minimum, but it's very overpriced. If you put a good like not too much but like a, a fairly good amount, you'll probably pay over twenty dollars for like not to even be full for a lunch. So I really don't recommend going to delis and like getting food from there because it's very overpriced usually. If you want to go to delis, usually don't get the food from the the middle where you usually get food and put it on the plate. Usually they have sandwiches on the side. These are not that expensive. You get this, you order a sandwich and then make, make it for you. It's not that expensive, but usually it's the plates. And once you, once there is like, weighing plate in the process will be very expensive so don't do that the first place people usually think that is the best in new york is times square in manhattan i know like if you go to new york you will you will have to eventually like see what that's all about and it's pretty it's actually pretty the first time you go to but after the first time it's boring there's nothing to see it's all lights and people walking and it's just the same every time well it's overhyped in my opinion i go there every day it's kind of boring <laughs> so if you want to really get the real life real experience of new york you will have to go to queens or um what else brooklyn 
those places, usually Queens and Brooklyn, maybe Long Island City is pretty, is, is actually really pretty. And maybe Long Island, plus Times Square in the evening. It is ridiculously crowded, like you can't walk. If you walk, like two steps, that, that'd be amazing in one minute. Like, oh my God, it's crazy. You have to like, people will like shove you, they will hit you, bump into you and not even say sorry and this is just really annoying. That's the thing about New York, like if they bump into you, they will not say sorry, they will just move on and you have to get over it. Oh, also the main thing is the transportation. How is transfer transportation in New York? It's pretty crazy, but what I recommend not getting a car, not renting a car, uh, you will end up paying so 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 much because once you start driving, they will charge you the moment you cross over, for example, Queens in Manhattan, they will charge you I don't know how much. We, that, we did that once, it was crazy. There's no parking, like it's so hard to find a parking spot. Don't even think of renting a car in New York unless you're on not in the city. I think it's way easier if not, you're not in the city. But you, if you're in the city, it's very like not probable that you'll find a parking spot and you'll get charged a lot. Also, taxis. Um, taxis in the city. I don't know about. I don't know about Queen, like Queens, but in Manhattan, I've tried getting a taxi once. I don't know why I did that. It was ridiculously expensive. Avoid, you know, getting into a taxi. Best thing ever, trains. Trains are here for a reason. Subways are here for a reason. Use them. Buses are here for a reason. Use them. You you just get charged like two seventy five, and you'll get to where you want. And maybe it's kind of tedious, but you get used to it. It's not that hard. Trust me. Here you avoid going into express trains you'll get into like a headache and you don't know if that train will stop by at the station you want to go to or not so to be safe i know local trains take way more than express trains but take local trains it will save you lots of headaches um and that's from experience <laughs> also a big big advice I would tell you uh, for trains don't sit on the sides of the train like on the corners of the cart because <laughs> lots of people homeless people sit on the side of the cart and lots of people throw up on the side of the cart so just sit in the middle I think it's the best thing just avoid the corner <laughs> like cars because it's pretty it can be very disgusting if you ever go to Times Square uh, you'll see lots of people many people in costumes so these people if you want to take picture with them like you know um, don't make it that obvious <laughs> that's their job if you take a picture with them you will have to uh, pay them, but lots of people. The problem is that people don't know that, and they take advantage of that. That they don't warn you before taking a picture with them and next to them. They think usually tourists they think it's free, but then they get surprised that that they want money from them. So if you, I mean, if you want to give them money, just take a picture next to them. I don't have a problem, but I'm just warning lots of people. They don't know that. They charge money for that. And in my opinion, it's not worth it. Also, in Manhattan, you'll see many people giving up CDs. The people with CDs are a huge problem. Usually, those people just have their own CD, like music and shit, <laughs> and they want to, you know, want to give them to people or sell them to people. Some people don't even know that that's for money. Like. They usually distribute it like it's for free, but it's actually not. And once you take them, they will follow you for the money. And and what I heard, like people, once people pay them, pay them money and they take the CD, it's actually a, an empty CD and they're scamming you. So 
don't take the CD from these people and don't waste your free money because that's all a scam. Also, when you want to be in New York in general, just don't don't just rely on credit cards and debit cards because mm, lots of you know places they don't they don't have machines. I would say. Uh, always carry cash on you. I know it's like because in Texas, not really like I don't see people carry cash on them. And once they go to New York, like oh shit, we don't have cash on us, so we just have credit card, and that's that can be a big problem. Uh, once I went to Staten Island, it's actually just next to the city. I would say I'll put a map out where it is. And I wanted a cab, but I took a cab, and then that guy couldn't, doesn't have the machine, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't have cash. <laughs> and I gave him like ten dollars of quarters, cause I don't know why I have ten dollars in quarters in my bag. I was crazy, just. And the guy was pretty nice for taking ten dollars in quarters. <laughs> Thing, like lots of people go shopping. The problem is when you go to a gift shop they'll be really expensive in Times Square like ridiculously expensive don't go there you might you can find in any any random places in Queens or whatever that sell these things and it's for like half the price if not even more than half the price less yeah so um don't go to like a gift shop and Manhattan, it's ridiculously expensive, you'll waste your money. Also, don't shop in Fifth Avenue, it's super duper expensive, way more expensive than anywhere anywhere else. And it's actually like a shopping shopping place and every, everyone goes there for shopping. And it's, I think it's kind of stupid, unless you have lots of money and want to waste it, I mean, go, I don't, I don't care. But if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend too much money. Don't go to the Avenue. It's super expensive. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about in New York. Um, I hope I helped in some way. Um, if you're going on a trip to New York or you want to know about New York, I hope I helped you guys. Like the video. Don't forget to like it if you want to say anything about or add anything comment down below and what else if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye